Are you cooking shit? Are you asking a question? Are you asking a question? Yes, I want to ask you a question. You are the one asking me questions. Are you an Israelite? Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. What are the things you have to say? I'm not, I'm not arguing with that. Okay, okay. You answered us. You answered us. There was a group of people. No. Oh, oh, no. He goes around killing nations. 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 He goes around killing people. Who goes around pillaging? Who goes around raping? Who goes around killing the country? I know you've done this before. Can you have a reasonable conversation? Can you have a reasonable conversation? Are you able to have a reasonable conversation? I know that. Brothers and sisters, this is why the black community doesn't need the Hebrew Israelites. Following the doctrines of the Hebrew Israelites just makes you an ignorant buffoon. They shout, they scream, they are unable to have a reasonable discourse. So deal with this devil. Deal with this devil. Deal with this devil. Let me ask you. Let me ask you. Why am I a devil? Because you're a murderer as a victim. So the brother accuses me of being a murderer. Where is your evidence that I'm a murderer? Who has killed my ancestor? The Arabs! The Arabs! Are the Arabs a devil man? Are the Arabs devil men? Answer! Hebrew Israelites! Hebrew Israelites! Answer the question! Hebrew Israelites! Answer the question! Are the Arabs no, I am asking you a question. No, you asked me first and I asked you. No, you didn't. I did. I said, what are the devil men? Yes or no? What about the murderers? All the Arabs, the murderers, the devil men. What about the murderers? All the Arabs, the devil men. Are you murderers? All the Arabs, the devil men. What about the murderers? Answer the question. Are you murderers? The ignorance of the Hebrew Israelites is that they say that every white person is a devil. That is what they are saying. That's right. That's right. That is what they are saying. People are devils. That's right. Your ancestors are devils too. This is the ignorance of the Hebrew Israelites. If the African. Here's the false god. Here's the false god. Here's a false god. Here's a false god. Here's a false god. Is a false god? Is a false god? Is a false god? Well, who's Allah? Allah is a pagan god. Pagan god. Allah is pagan god. You, you, I am forgiven by Jesus Christ. What did he say? He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that kill her with a sword shall not kill you with a sword. That's everybody! People, Arabs kill people, Africans enslave people, Africans kill people, Chinese people enslave people, Chinese people kill people. That's everybody. Are we Africans? How long are we Africans? Okay. Because the Hebrew, I want to say this. What does Africa mean? The African Caribbean. Devil, man. 
What does Africa mean? Well, you know, you know, African. It's a continent. You stupid. They rise. White man's name for king. Exactly. Exactly. So, as I was saying, as I was saying. together within her and she said if it be so why am I thus and she went to inquire of the Lord and the Lord said unto her two nations are in thy womb what two nations are in thy womb and two manner of people shall be separated from the bowels and the one people shall be stronger than the other yeah than the other people and the elder shall serve the younger. Mm -hmm. And when her days to be delivered were fulfilled, uh -huh. behold, there were twins in her womb. There were twins, what? In her womb. Continue. The first came out red. The first came out what? Red. red. Came out what? Red. Now, just stop there for one second. When you, when you say white people are white, when you call white people white, they're not really white. Because if you look at color white, right, for example, right, color white, right, Right. You don't see any man. You don't see any man who's white, right? Go away, bro. Go come on. There is a false god. There is a false god. False god. There is a false god. Allah is a false god. Liar. Liar, ya donkey. My name's not Muhammad. My name's not Muhammad. My name's not Mohammed. Carry on. Right, carry on, carry on. Right. Thank you, thank you, Uncle. Thank you. Now, okay. now, in this society today, right, the word white people was coined in 1682. There was no such thing as white people, right? And it, wait, I'm not talking to you. You want to shut up now, right? <laughs> okay. Show, show me white people in this world. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Because if you want to come in, you you come in the wrong place, man. Okay. So there's no such thing as white people. White people was a word to just put you people to put you at the top. Because if you're thinking about white, white is anything good, beautiful, nice. But are you really beautiful? Are you really good people? I'm beautiful. What? Wait. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it has definition. Beauty has definition. I got a face okay. In your own face, you're beautiful. In your own face, you're beautiful. But in the sight of God, no, you are the most ugly people on earth. And I'm right. going to prove oh, that in the Bible as well. Okay? Oh, yeah. Wait, 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 wait. You can't apply because I've not finished. I'm not finished. I'm not finished. Don't mess around with me. I'm not here to mess around. Okay. 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 Neither are you. Okay, but messing around, I don't do that. Okay? I don't do that. I don't mess around with nobody here. Okay? Right, continue reading it. And the first came out red. Yeah. yeah. And the first came out red all over like a hairy garment. So why you suck on white people, you're not white, you're hairy and you are red. <laughs> That's what you are. Okay? Laugh like a fool. <laughs> and they call his name Esau. And they call his name what? Esau. So when you see any red person on earth, their real name, their real biblical, ancient biblical name is Esau. That's your name, you're not white. God says you're Esau. Esau, right? And they called his name Esau. Uh-huh, continue. And after they came, his brother, his brother out, 
and his hand took hold of Esau's heel, uh -huh. and his name was called Jacob. And his name was called what? Jacob. Okay, now you see Jacob is not described, because Jacob looked exactly like his parents and all the people in the area. So the reason why Jacob is not described is because he looks like everybody. Continue, brother. And Isaac was three, three, Isaac was three schools year old when, mm -hmm. they, when she bared them. Mm -hmm. And the boys grew. Go to Genesis 36. Wait, 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 one second. I'm going to reply four. to that passage. So, I challenge the Hebrew Israelites to identify for me where it showed that the Caucasians in the Bible were a particular people. And he went to Genesis 24, reading from verse 21. So, one second. 25, fine. 25, yes, 25. However, the one text that he mentioned yeah. talked about someone who was red. Wow, yeah. Do I look red? Yeah. No. <laughs> this is the not blood red. Is on the red. This is not red. That's not red. That's not red. Like the lobster. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> the Hebrew Israelites have failed at the first hurdle. Wow. The first oh, hurdle okay. was to identify biblically yeah, yeah. the Europeans. Yeah. The problem is that this family they are speaking about was born in the Middle East. And we already know from history that at the time of Jacob and Esau, of Isaac, of Abraham, that there were already people living in Europe. That's a fact. So to try and say that Europeans were descended from Esau contradicts history and abuses the scripture. So far, we have a red man, not a white man, and we have no understanding why he came out red. For all we know, it could be some kind of blood issue. Children come out of the wombs covered in all the liquids of birth. They often come out various different colours. It doesn't mean that they are red. Notice he reads white as red and red as white. Now, okay, now let me rebuttal on that. into the text. Try again, Hebrew Israelite. This is what God said about you, damn it. Don't tell me one second, man. The question. The question. Mohammed. Now, the question. Right. Show me in the Bible where the Bible. Against the Bible right now. Identify. Bible didn't mention the Caucasian. Bible didn't mention the word white. He said the first. Wait, what's the question? When he was talking. Okay, okay. Bible didn't mention the first child. There were twins in the woman's womb. Bible never mentioned that the first came out white. He said the first came out red. However, the second son was not described. I told you, if you weren't deaf earlier, I told you that the second child, it wasn't described because it looks like his father and his mother. When you give back to a dragon, you have to describe the dragon. That's what it did in the Bible. And to even let you know that the child that was born was a dragon. And I'm going to show you in the Bible that the child that was born was a dragon. I'm going to go about four verses in the Bible. Okay, no, no, one second. I'm gonna do four okay, verses okay, in the okay, Bible and okay, okay. a go. Go to Obadiah. What, what, what? 24, yeah, yeah. What that That's not what I mean. Okay, go to the book of Obadiah. Go, book of Obadiah. Now, now we know that white people, right? When they went, when they went to so called moon, they say the eagle has landed. White people love eagle and dragon. I don't have to look into your camera, bro. Which white people? Okay, so called white people. When I say white people, I know, I know which, I'm talking about so called white people. Okay, you say you went to the moon, right? You love you love going to the mountain as well. You love mountain climbing and all those garbage you do. Now let's read it. This love mountain climbing. Yeah, I do, I do too, I do too. Obadiah one one. When you're talking, I will cut you too. The vision of Obadiah does say of the Lord God yeah. concerning Edom. Uh -huh. Concerning who? Edom. Now another name for Edom is Esau. Okay, continue. We have heard a rumor from the Lord. Uh huh. And. And an ambassador is sent among the heathen. Now, just to let you know, this is about the last day. However, we have to identify the devil before the last day. 
continue. Arise ye, mm -hmm. and let us rise up again. So I every mean. nation on earth is going to rise up against white people, so-called white people, because of their crime, because of their genocide of other races. Let's go around stealing land. Only one people do that in the Bible. The Bible describes that there's one people, right, they go around, they steal, they rape, they murder. When I look at every race, only white people fit that. Everything white people feel fit what the Bible says. Continue, bro. Arise ye, and let us rise up against her in uh -huh. battle. Uh -huh. Behold, I have made thee, I have made thee small. Now you I'm white people, they used to respect you. Today you are small. You have been minsky in front of the in front of every race, man. Continue, brother. Behold, I have made thee small uh -huh. among the heathen. Uh -huh. Thou art greatly you despised. Ask. You're gonna burn up. The What's pride you? of thine heart uh -huh. had deceived thee. The pride, the most prideful people on earth are the white people. These are people whereby when they genocide your family, they will say we have nothing to apologize about. When they steal your natural resources, they will say, well, we didn't do nothing wrong. You have too many resources, so we just have to come and steal from you. That's only one people do that. Continue, brother. The pride of thine heart has deceived thee that thou dwellest in... Yeah. You're pushing on me. Don't leave me, please. No, she's not, she's not. Thou hast dwellest in the cliffs mm -hmm. of the rock mm -hmm. whose habitations is high. Uh -huh. Wait. Now, when you say the word Caucasian, Caucasian is in the Bible too. Because the word Caucasian, the, art, the etymology of the word Caucasian means cave dweller. What race of people dwell in the cave and call themselves cave dweller? You are the ones Neanderthals, okay? You are the only people who dwell in caves. You love caves. In those days where you used to say, when you used to say Neanderthal, you are the only people who use your, the skull of your ancestor to drink soup. Go and check your own history. Continue, brother. In cliffs of the rock. Uh, in he, cliffs of the rock. So continue. His habitations is high, uh -huh. that safe in his heart. Who build skyscrapers everywhere they go when they still land? Who build, the, who build New York? The real, wait, wait, let me, wait, let me finish. Don't let me raise my voice again, okay? So, when they came out of their caves, they, con they continue conquering lands and stealing lands and building cities, building ice scrapers. Continue, brother. That safe in his heart, uh -huh. he shall bring me down now, to the ground. Now, this man has nuclear weapon, he said, who's going to bring me down? Now we have Iran having nuclear weapon. He couldn't say who's going to bring me down because your time has, a, has an expiry date. You're going down whether you like it, you accept it or not. You're going down, white people. Continue, man. <laughs> thou, thou exalt thyself as the eagle. So, wait, 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 wait. What did he just say? Thou, thou exalt thyself as the eagle. We know that eagle is a very prideful bird, right? God said, though you exalt yourself as the eagle, when the white man landed on the moon so-called, he said the world has landed, the eagle has landed. That's right. only one person that loves eagle. Right. Now, now you can touch your neck with your finger. I don't care what you do. Right. But if you want to, if I want to remind you, the Roman, what is the Roman emblem? Eagle. Spain. Eagle. Portugal. Eagle. America. Eagle. Even lands you colonize, you call, you give them eagle. Wait, I've not finished. Germany. Eagle. You are the only people who love eagle. So God what says that. We do. We're doomed. Eagles. We're doomed. Who, who colonized Nigeria? Yeah. Who colonized Nigeria? Okay. Wait, 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 it's not okay. Who colonized Nigeria? Is it not Britain? Is it not Britain that colonized Nigeria? We're talking about symbols. You say symbols of the eagle, a white man symbol. I'm telling you, the Nigerian football club, the symbol is the eagles. They call them the, 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 the eagles. Who colonized them? Britain! Britain gave them the eagle! Colonization. Right, allow me to reply. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Right. We're talking about symbols, so, no, so no finish then. Okay, I'm going to reply. Wait, Then finish. You know you're very unjust? Huh? You're very unjust because I will tell you why you say that. When Nigeria... Wait, what's it going I'm going to, I'm going to reply. So the brother taught Wharton, Obadiah, chapter 1, verse 1. And in this passage, this is what it says. It says... Stop getting involved. Be the cameraman. So, thus says the Lord God concerning Edom. We're not finished. Edom is a place. Edom is a place. Among the stars. It is among not the stars. a people. It is talking about the region in North West Arabia. North West Arabia. On the Arabian Peninsula. Now I challenge the Hebrew Israelites to tell me. If Where in thief, the Bible by it identifies the Caucasian, the Hebrew Israelites are saying that the Caucasian are people 
that live in caves. Look around you. Do we live in caves? No. We do not. And the back at the time that this was written, archaeologists have already identified the Caucasians were living in mud huts. Would they not have mud huts they have enough? Yeah. and yeah. wooden buildings. That's right. You are the only they were not steal. living in caves. He talked about eagles. But what about unicorns? What about dragons? What about lions? These are all the symbols of nations in Europe. This kind of ignorance that we see in the Hebrew Israelites will only drag down those that follow it. Those that follow it will become ignorant people. People don't know Jesus. They don't know the Messiah. They don't know the apostles. They don't know the prophets. They are not part of the church. There are a new religion that was invented in America. That's all they are. Even to the border. So now we're going to bring you to the border, man. We're going to go to war with you. I'm going to destroy you. I'm going to enslave you. You as you enslave our ancestors. Continue, brother. The man that was at peace. We, with thee, have deceived thee. Every nation that are peace with you right now, they're going to deceive you, so-called white people. They're going to bring you to the border and they want to show me where white people are in the Bible. Where does he say white people in the Bible? Against you, man. Where? Show me. That eat. Thy bread okay, have laid a wound. Okay, this debate has broken down. Useless. Right? Yeah, useless. Down. Down. That's, That's what the Lord said. Really there is none understanding, understanding in him. Shall I not? Yeah, you are useless. Save the Lord. Even destroy the wise men out of Edom. There you go. What did you say? Even destroy the wise men out of Edom. All your wise men are going to be destroyed. All your scientists, all your ministers, all your royal families, they're going to be destroyed. Where is white people in the Bible. Out of the mouth. Are you going to be that thing Where? that we have understanding? Continue. Where does out of it the say white people in the Bible? Esau. Where does it say? Esau. Is that white? Esau. That's, That's not white. Esau is not white. And the mighty man. Esau is not white. And the words. And the mighty man. Esau was red. Oh, the man. Oh, the man. Shall be dismayed. All your ministry will be dismayed on that that day when the Lord Where gave us power, that we're going to bring white. your military down, we're going to bring your queen down, I think the we're going to bring your like to down, all of you are going to every race that's one of you, man. Continue, bro. Say to the end that everyone in the Mount of Esau uh -huh. may be cut off by you, slaughter. You see the reality you are going to be cut off by slaughter, man. Go to Isaiah 21, uh, Isaiah 14, 21. No, you don't want to do that, man. You talk about us, you talk about him. Let's just go. This is this is the point. Let's just go. Wait, wait, wait. Hey? Isaiah, Isaiah 40, 21. Why are you running away? Because you haven't shown me where it says white because people in the Bible. Where does it say white people in the Bible? Red people, you don't know. Red people are white people. They're not white. That doesn't make any sense. You want to start again? You want to start again? That doesn't make any sense. You want to start again? You want to start again? Let's start again. Let's start again. Let's start again. All right, in, in this passage. Wait, one moment. Why do you want people, yeah? So, well, your Bible scriptures are white. Yeah. His page white. is white. Oh, his well, hand no, his apparently, no. my page is white. Are you white? Are you white? Are you white? You are red. Are you white? You are red. This proves something. White and red are totally different things. He is red. This is red. Look at his face. This is red. What color is this? What color is this? You are red. What color is this? Your stripe is white. Wait, Elk. What color is this? What color is this? What color is this? What color is this? They own 90 percent. What color is this? What color is this? Isaiah 14. This is how stupid you will become if you become a Hebrew. What color is this? What color is this? What color is this? For his children, what did the Lord say? Prepare slaughter 
for his children. No, this is a silly yes, discussion. Yes, for you. I'm sorry, guys. You're going to have to go. This is just a silly discussion. It's the crime of your fathers. Your father is a genocide. He's a criminal. Every race and group has committed no those crimes. Not possess the land. So you're never going to rise again, nor still learn from Australia, nor still learn from America, nor still learn from uh, South Africa. You're never going to rise again. Continue from Not feel the face of the world with cities. Okay, no, you're let's never, go. never you're going to abuse Nice try. Nice try. Damn devil. Give me, give Better me. Better try next time, bro. Give me, your, your next time will never come, you damn liars, man. <laughs> Okay. The cause of the world dissolved. Yeah, do a quick wrap up, everyone. Yeah. there, Bob? What so, are you for so interrupting this? JC should not have got involved in that debate. He should have kept his cool. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. that ended up triggering and derailing the whole conversation. Pretty However, yeah. the Hebrew Israelites, as you can see, are a group that create a fictional history about the world based on a, a narrative that is constructed out of spurious connections. The idea that the lofty eagle spoken about in Obadiah and the fact that European nations use the eagle as a symbol of their nationhood is, is such a spurious connection. We know where Edom was, it is a place, not a people. Edom is the place in, in northwestern Arabia. That's where Edom is. The idea of creating these spurious connections to create a fictional history is designed to cultivate a sense of bitterness amongst members of the black community towards white folk, towards white people. The kind of accusations that were being thrown around are the most ignorant kind of accusations. Yes, white people, Europeans in the past committed crimes. No one who knows any history would, would deny that. But then every other civilization has committed similar crimes. The Arab slave trade is still going on. The European slave trade has ended. So maybe the Hebrew Israelites need to realize who's still dealing in slaves. The fact is, multiple groups have committed mass murder. This doesn't prove anything, because every one of those groups, if they are going to use this extreme, yeah, this extreme form of analogy, to enforce into the text the white man where the white man does not exist simply destroys any intelligent exegesis of the Bible. And if you're a Hebrew Israelite watching this, I call you to come out of that. You can see the fruits of that religion. It is nothing but hatred, nothing but resentment, nothing but bitterness, nothing but anger, nothing but ignorance. And you can do better. You can do better than the Hebrew Israelites. They will harm your future. They will harm your journey in life because they will fill your heart with so much anger. You won't be able to progress. Come to something that is life giving. The teachings of Jesus, the new covenant is an opening to all peoples from all races. It is a, a, a unity that is there for everyone. And it is time that you embrace that. It is something for all peoples to come together in a common identity based on Christ. Not that kind of ignorance and ranting and, and, and just butchering the scripture. They have a script that is even more defined than the Dawa script. <laughs> Yet they literally, they will, they will read out these passages and ignore the rest of the book. They will ignore the rest of the book completely. And I, I pity them. I pity them, you know? There was no common white identity at the time of Obadiah. There isn't even a common white identity today. So what do we mean when we say the white man? Who are we referring to? The brother seemed confused whether he was referring to white or red. And when I asked him what red looked like, he avoided the question like it was the plague. So I, I simply say to you, you need to do better Hebrew Israelites. For your own good, you need to do better.